Yo, everybody here at the Revival. Again, um, hey, uh, some of you people are like around here. Just swing by maybe in the morning sometime. I'm like normally here. We can just talk, talk about comedy and sales. Today I want to talk about uh, the best way to get people to like you so you can make a sale. Um, Cora, this is an interesting question because um, there are a lot of tools and tactics that comedians use to get an audience to like them. Because if an audience doesn't like you, they're not going to laugh at you. They hate you. You, you know, com I've talked about this before. Comedy is about leadership. Sales is about leadership. You don't really like to follow people who you don't like. Like if you don't like them, uh, you're not going to want to follow them or do anything that they say. Basically, you're going to question them all the time. The only reason you might trust them, even though you don't like them, is because you know that they have more knowledge than you. You need them for some reason. Most salespeople today aren't. They're unnecessary, to be perfectly honest, that a customer can go get informed by themselves, and if they're with someone who they don't like talking to, they'll just leave you. And like the same is true with audiences and comedy, man. Like if they don't like you, they can go home and watch Netflix. Like it's done. You have to get them to like you right now in 15, 20 seconds, because if they don't like you right off the bat, you are not winning them back over. You gotta do a lot of work. You waste a lot of time to try to get them back over, and you're losing laughs. So basically, this is how a comedian does it. You need to display genuine, interest and genuine appreciation and even if that's just a tiny bit like in comedy you might say like wow yeah this uh you know st louis is a great town i really like xyz thing just insert whatever here and it could be you making fun of them a little bit but like that kind of rapport actually is what builds into liking and the reason this works is that robert cialdini talks about this in influence and this is the law of reciprocity it's also the uh, law of liking which is that if you display likability, if you like somebody else, they feel like they have to give you the same opportunity that like, it just feels weird if like one of you is out of whack when it comes to the other one. So if you're on stage and you say to somebody in the crowd, you just, you just reciprocate what they have going on. You get up and you try something first, like, hey, you know what? I just really love St. Louis, man. The, uh, let me tell you what's great about this town. There are the most bars per capita in St. Louis and I love a town of drunks. What did I just did, do there? Hey, I love you guys, it's really good, but also here's the reason why and it's bad. And like you're pulling them in and then you're like busting them back a little bit. Um, I one time was on a call with a guy from uh, New Jersey. I think I've talked about this before. He had these Jersey wines he liked. And I love this example just because I remember saying to him, it's really cool that you like Jersey wine, but what is, has anybody ever liked wine from New Jersey? Like, what are you doing? And so there's something about that that I was like, look, I, it's cool that you like this thing, but why do you like it? It's weird that you like it. And if you do that with a smile on your face, uh, people know that it's not a threat. You're not attacking them. You're not coming at them. And they're way more likely to reciprocate and appreciate you for, like, the things that you say and do. So, like, that's what you want to do. Now, nobody is going to buy from you if they don't trust you, okay? Nobody. But nobody has to buy from you. Uh, nobody has to like you in order to buy from you. That's, you're not, you don't need to do that. Um, but if you don't have a product or service that they can't trust, then there's no way that they're ever gonna buy because they're not gonna think that it actually solves their problem. So the challenge is this. You, what you need to do is be uh, likable just enough so that you can start to win over their trust and how do you do that you be vulnerable it causes them to be vulnerable you display knowledge over the things that they need knowledge over that causes them to trust you the same thing is true with audiences you have to be vulnerable in front of an audience for them to feel like they can be vulnerable in front of you even though there's a lot of anonymity they're vulnerable in different ways they're afraid of people seeing them laugh at a joke that maybe that joke is off color they're afraid of the judgments that maybe even they would have of themselves if they laugh at that joke you need to gain a lot of trust and make them feel that it's safe. The same is true with sales. And so the way that it works basically is this. You have to be vulnerable first. You have to display authenticity first. You have to find reasons to like them first. These are all leadership qualities. And you need to do all of them And if you really want to get people to like you. And if you want to make the sale, you have to get people to trust you. And the easiest way to get people to trust you is to have them like you because they're more willing to be vulnerable in front of you because they don't feel that it's that you're a threat or you're going to get, steer them wrong. So think about all of these reasons. I'd love to hear your feedback below. There's a lot of crossovers between comedy and sales. And um, just hit the subscribe button. I got these coming out all the time. Take care.